Hello everyone, welcome to episode 8 of our Let's Play Eco Lifestyle with Susie. Now as you can see, we are in different surroundings and that is because Susie has moved house. So Susie used to live in the Pinecrest Apartments which are in Conifer Station and instead we have moved to the starter home location which is right next to the station. I just felt like Susie was outgrowing her flat and so I decided that she should live in a house with a garden so we can kind of fit all the recycling and the insects and stuff like that outside just so it makes it a bit nicer. Hopefully you have watched the speed build for this house, it didn't take too long. I moved over quite a lot of the stuff that she already had, so like the bed and stuff. But in terms of the house, I'll, I won't do a full tour like I did last time because you can go and watch the video for that. This is the house here. In the speed build you might realise that I actually built the house the wrong way around. So I put the front of the house on this side and the back of the house on the side but I realised that every other house is facing this way <laughs> so I got it wrong and I've moved it around so there might be stuff in the gut that's meant to be in the garden that has appeared inside the house but anyway <laughs> that was the only thing so we have just a little entrance hall here we've got a little toilet here we've got some ladders up to the second floor this is our kind of living room and we've got dining room here and kitchen and then whoops upstairs we've got just a, a bathroom a room for our fabricator we can just put other things in there susie's bedroom and then we've got a single bedroom for any guests that she has or whatever and then outside as you probably saw we've got a recycler and i also bought an insect farm because i wasn't sure using the insect farm at the community lot well i wasn't sure whether it just refreshes every single time you go to the community lot i wasn't entirely sure so i decided to just buy an insect farm so that susie can keep an eye on it every single time we've also got a little bird box here because i thought it was quite cute i hope you like the renovation quite a bit happened in the last episode we we got quite flirty with chase um our new man we woohooed for the first time in the dumpster <laughs> it was a beautiful moment and we also got promoted and we are on our way to getting promoted to a civic archivist so we're doing quite well we did manage to repeal the nap and we managed to get a new nap we managed to get green initiatives and then we also got uh, the upcycling initiative as well so that means that everyone with a fabricator or a recycler gets more influence points so that will do us well for if we have to change the community law or if we have to change an NAP for whatever reason. But I would like to, especially in these later episodes, I would like to try and get Susie to become more green. So I would like her to rely off solar panels and wind turbines a lot more. Her funds have gone down quite a bit because of her move to this house. We will get money quite quickly because we are quite high up in our career. So once we get some more money, we can add some more solar panels. I did have a solar panel but it seems to have gone missing so I will quickly buy one. In terms of what we need to do now she's basically just come home from work probably just to get our needs up and then we can maybe try and get that logic skill up actually and then we can hopefully get promoted either tomorrow or the next day. We'll mix some dinner or we'll get some leftovers but yeah I really like the house I tried to make it as green as possible. Oh well fantastic so our neighbourhood's eco footprint is now green so I don't know if you remember before this is Conifer Station so this wasn't the neighbourhood that was green initially it was actually just normal look who showed up to our new house so that's that's amazing oh and we've got the aurora borealis hang on oh it's so pretty so we should be seeing some differences in the neighborhood now i have actually seen the uh the northern lights in the in the flesh and <laughs> i i didn't actually see a lot of them but i did see i did see them in iceland and they were so beautiful they weren't as green as this though very very faint but I will get Susie's needs up ready for tomorrow when she goes to work and I'll meet you back when she is back from work. Okay so Susie is off to work. We just got told that our our power has been shut off because we haven't paid our bills and we just got this notification up that says well done looks like this household is in a compliance of all active neighborhood action plans. You'll see a reduction in your next round of bills as a result of your commitment. Fantastic. So we can now pay our bills uh, which are 748 
it. Now, if we go into our bills, so we can store some power off our solar panel for a bit, just because um, our bills were quite high for quite a while. It looks like we'll probably get promoted tomorrow, which is fantastic. And then once we're promoted tomorrow, I think we can kind of lay off the promotion side a little bit. We can maybe have a, a day off. When she gets promoted, I think we'll give her a day off. That's one thing that I'm quite famous for. I don't give my Sims days off. It's because I'm such a hard worker myself. So we'll get her to go to sleep, get her knees up again. Chase is here. Well, we'll go to sleep and I will meet you all again in the morning. Okay, so Susie has just come home from work and she has been promoted. It. so she is now on level seven of the civil designer career and she was branched into the civic planner side of the career and she is now a civic archivist so it means that we get a 1200 simoleon bonus and we also get a solar panel so that's really useful we're pretty much working the same days a week but we've got friday off which is pretty good and tomorrow is harvest fest so we have the day off tomorrow anyway which is fantastic and so that means that we can maybe try and get our skills up tomorrow and we can spend the day with the ones that we love but it's also the lottery our insect farm is also ready for collection so i imagine that we can just collect biofuel i don't really want to eat them so susie has collected the following insects okay and did that count no oh so it didn't actually count towards our aspiration which is a bit so we've got to wait 24 hours so it should renew tomorrow but we are going to take the day off tomorrow anyway because it's harvest fest and we will celebrate tomorrow but let me get my needs up first because we need to recycle things every now and again i'll die for some deals in this dumpster over here and we managed to get quite a lot of things to recycle so that's what we'll do we will recycle all the things that we got because then that will mean that she's not so tense anymore we're okay on our needs so what we'll do is we'll fabricate in terms of our fabrication skill we are 57 percent so if we keep fabricating we will eventually get there and what i want to do in this episode is hopefully level up in our aspiration because then we can work towards the last one and that would be really cool to see what we get at the end of it okay so she's just about to wake up we did not win the lottery raj won it uh which is just ridiculous if you ask me our grubs have oh my goodness what's dead how did they die? I honestly don't get that. They weren't hungry. That's made me really sad. Oh my goodness. RIP. RIP little grubs. If anyone can tell me how they died, let me know. Because I, I fed them. You saw me feed them. Well, we're going to have to get new ones now. Do what we'll do. We will invite Chase around to make us feel slightly better. I will invite Teen around. Why not? I mean, one big happy family. I don't know why the gnomes are here. I told the gnomes that I don't want them anymore. <laughs> but it's good because we can sell them. They actually make quite a good bit of money. So, I was going to cook a grand meal what should we cook let's cook a turkey dinner okay so they're having a great time eating their food oh getting a, a nice massage that's lovely i am upset about these grubs to be honest and hopefully they won't die again on us but in terms of today our needs are pretty good and i think what we'll do is we will fabricate i think tina was was on our fabricator using it as usual so we will fabricate something and we can let's fabricate a big item and hopefully that will get our fabrications oh it's just broken um <laughs> i was just gonna say um hopefully it will get our fabrication skill up oh ha hang on so we got a thing from what's his name Knox. he says hey buddy got a minute to help me with some recyclables i heard you have a recycler and if you let me use it i'll give you all the bits and pieces all for free yes you can use that where are you okay so we can invite him in and we get all the bits and pieces for free fantastic what the hell is going on everyone's giving free massages but he's going to apparently go and recycle stuff and then give us all the benefits so we will just continue fabricating because we've 
got to get our skill up today. You know, now that I'm pretty much done with what I want to do, do you mind if I hang out here for a bit? Yeah, that's fine. Like, do whatever you want, mate. Oh, please get up to 100. Please, 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 please. Yay! So we reached fabrication level 7. So we can now craft a double bed on the fabricator and the carved candle on the candle making station. So that's really good to know. We will check on our grubs because we don't want them to die again on us. But in terms of our harvest fest, we had a pretty good time. We invited around a few people. Do you know what we'll do? We'll recycle the gnomes. <laughs> But we do have work. Oh no, we don't have work tomorrow either. Fantastic. So we've had two days off, basically. So tomorrow, I think what we'll do is we will try and focus on getting our charisma and logic skill up. We'll have a quick look at them now. So logic, we're basically on 1%. And charisma, we're on 16%. So we're not too bad. I'll meet up with you in the morning when we are slightly better with our needs. Okay, so pretty much all of today, we have been trying to get our logic up mostly we got it up to 45 percent which is pretty good so we managed to do half of what we wanted today but chase seems to be pretty into us we will chat with him for a bit because our social is quite low and just spend some time with him why not the vote is open for the naps but all of the spaces are full so we can try to repeal one if we want to now the board is over here somewhere isn't it now i think if you click on your mailbox you can petition for repeal now in terms of influence points we've got 66 at the moment oops so we can try and get rid of some now i think free love i thought it was going to be a bit of fun like i thought people were just going to start like woohooing with each other and to be honest it hasn't really done as much of that as I thought it would. Um, I thought it could add some some drama into the into the situation but it hasn't really. The only drama has been with us <laughs> which isn't great but I'm just going to see if this works because last time it didn't work. Okay so that one works fantastic so we've got one but what we could do is we could buy a few more of these and then we should hit our aspiration a lot quicker. So I think we should get a few different ones. So we could be very, very successful in this episode. We could level up on our aspiration. We've already been promoted. We've had a great harvest fest. So we're not doing too badly here, guys. But if you, I mean, I do want to maybe introduce some drama or some happy things. I don't know. Maybe things might happen between Chase and Susie. Who knows? Maybe Chase is the one. But let me know if you think he is or if you think he isn't or if you want to see any drama because I'm up for putting some drama in this LP. I'm not very good with drama though. Like a lot of my gameplay is just literally like happy families. <laughs> so that's not great. We have had some drama though. Susie got abducted by aliens. There has been some drama. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to turn on auto lights so that our bills aren't so high. But we are doing well in terms of our energy. We are storing a lot of energy. And we do have a solar panel in our inventory somewhere if this hurries up. Uh, yes, we have our solar panel here. So we can put that out. We do have some balconies we could put it out on. We could put it here. And we do have a computer that we can repair as well. And a lamp. And we can sell some of this stuff for now because we can always get that back. Our money has gone up pretty well. I mean, at the start of the episode, we were on like 300 simoleons or something. And now we're on 5,000. So that's doing all right. We do have work today on Saturday. I will get her needs up again and I'll meet you back when she comes back from work. Okay so Susie is back from work. We have our insects at the back here and they are doing well. None of them have died yet which is good to see. Our performance is fairly good at work and we managed to get our charisma up a little bit this morning just chatting to Chase and getting our social skill up. So that's pretty good. Our needs are also pretty good. I mean, all we have to do is, is get the insects and then we can see what the next thing is. Now, I believe that level 10 fabrication is the one next <laughs> that we've got to get next. And Tina has showed up at our door. Oh, hey there, neighbour. Do I hear the sizzle of something broken in there? Oh, dear. 
would you like help with that? I'm a bit of a handy sim. Yes, you can come and fix my computer. And we also, we've also got a phone call from Bess. She says, hey, hey, champ. So get this. I have a cool business idea. This is going to be the big one. But I uh, I just need a few more simoleons to get it off the ground. Like a thousand simoleons. Do you think you could help a buddy out? You'll get it all back. And then some, I swear. Now we can afford it. Now we gave her a simoleon before and nothing happened. She just said, did it make you feel happy? And no, it didn't. But I'm going to give you the thousand simoleons because I'm a very trustworthy person. Thanks, Susie. I can always count on you. Well, you better flipping give me my 1,000 simoleons back. I worked hard for that, didn't we, guys? We worked hard for that 1,000 simoleons, and I don't want you just spending it on nothing. Now, did Tina fix me computer? She did as well. Now, I'm starting to like Tina a bit more now. I am. You never thought I'd say that, did you? But we will dive for some more deals because it's always handy to have stuff in our inventory that we can recycle. We did find a few things today. We do have the day off tomorrow as well. We'll ask Jeb if he wants to help repeal the petition. Someone told me that Jeb actually looks like, you know, in Shrek 2, like the human version of Shrek. That's what apparently he looks like. And he, do you know what he actually does? If you've got eco lifestyle, check him out. He's the human version of Shrek. I'm just going to ask Tina for a signature because then we're up to three. So if we can get two more tomorrow, then that means that we can repeal free love and get something new. In terms of our insects, we can collect them, which is fantastic. We completed our aspiration level. So the next one is we've got to achieve level 10 skill in fabrication. We've got to make 20 candles and we've got to complete five gigs as a freelance crafter. Now, I don't think we can work as a freelancer whilst we are still in this career. I mean, let me double check because we might be able to. Yeah, so she will currently, she will quit her current position, which I don't want her to do. I do want to get her to the top of this career. We can definitely work on the other things whilst we're trying to get up the career ladder to level 10. And then once we hit level 10, we can maybe calm down, you know, never know what might happen to Susie in that time. And she might want to calm down in her career. She's had a very successful career so far. She's done very, very well for herself. And we can then become a freelancer and see what happens there. But I'm just going to get her needs up again and I'll meet you back in the morning and we can maybe see where she's at with her needs and skills okay so sunday has pretty much been lost to us today all of our insects are dead um i don't know how that happened again but you know i'm just not very good at this <laughs> but we did have tina show up and she has created us something really cool i managed to get our logic up to 76 percent and we got an eco upgrade part. Wow, great. Thank you so much. That's really nice. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm sorry it's been quite boring and not a lot's happened. I keep saying that, but we, I think we need some drama uh, in, in the episode. So I think I'm going to leave it here because I don't want it to be too long. We have progressed in our career. So we got promoted. We also leveled up in our aspiration. So we need to make 20 candles now. We need to level up in fabrication and we need to join the freelancer crafter career. And we can't do that until we have leveled up until level 10 of our civic designer career because we could change over but I, I don't really want to do that because she has worked hard to get to this level and we are in a fairly good position to get promoted in the next part and we definitely will we're over halfway to getting charisma level five and we are definitely over halfway in getting logic level seven we did manage to pick up some signatures for our appeal so we need to get two more and then we're good to go we killed quite a few insects today which i wasn't proud of 
don't get me wrong i wasn't proud of it our world is now very very green so you can't see them right now but we do have the aurora borealis in our neighborhood which is a massive achievement and we also moved into a new house so quite a lot has happened but in the next part hopefully as i said we can get promoted we can see what that has to offer and we can try and work on our aspiration if you would like to see some drama drop it down below in the comments and i will check them out i will check all your comments out before the next part but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did like it please leave a like on this video and as i said please leave any comments that you have about the video as well i will see you all in the next video so i hope you have a great day bye bye